All right, now that we have all the mechanics for pulling out a record and um, editing it and saving those changes, we need a page to handle that. Now, it's going to be very similar to our page for inserting data. In fact, so much code is going to be the same. Rather than create a whole separate page for updating data, maybe we could just take our video add page and we'll copy that and um, create a new page called video add edit. And we'll use that both for adding and editing. And then once that's working, we'll get rid of the video add.razor page. All right, so we're going to have to change the um, routing name to video add edit. And we have to pass in the ID of the video we want to edit. Now you might say, well, then how are you going to use it for adding new ones which don't have an ID? And our, our logic for that will be if we pass in a zero for the ID, that means insert. Otherwise, we're doing an edit. Okay, but other than that, now most of this HTML code is going to be the same. So we don't really need to change it much. Maybe just the title and the button text. But it doesn't seem worth it to repeat all the other code just for that little bit of difference. We'll handle the differences programmatically down here in the C sharp code. So let's start with, okay, we're going to need a different title and different button text depending on whether they're adding or editing. So we'll start with a couple simple variables and we'll populate them on the assumption that they're going to do an insert. So the page title by default will be add a video and the button text will be add. Okay, and we'll just go with that. Now down here, we'll make a decision about what to really do we have inside this uninitialized method. If they passed in a zero, we'll go ahead and stick with this um, default code for a new video. So say if ID is zero, I dictionary, I don't think so. ID is zero, we'll put in our curly braces and then else all right so oh, oh i see what i did i forgot to pass in that parameter of id so let's come up here put in a parameter and that's going to be the incoming id and so we'll say public int because it's integer id and we'll just do a get and a set so if the id is zero stick with what we were doing before and just make a default video otherwise we want to get that um, video with that ID. So the video we're getting is going to be um, something we get from video service .get one based on the ID we passed in. And since we're doing an update, we'll change the page title to edit video and the button text to save or update or whatever you want to use. It's just the word that appears on the button. Okay, it's still complaining about my await here, and, um, oh wait, I'm going to use an async, oh, my uh, public override, override void is an async, so let's uh, change that to public override async task, not void, async, and then on initialized async, and that should do the trick if I'm lucky, I don't see anything bad here. Now we have to uh, make those titles and that button thing work. So instead of showing at a video up here, we'll show at page title, which is the, you know, that parameter. And instead of the button text being add, we will change that. Where's that button? There's that button to ampersand button text. Take a quick look here. I don't see any more being yelled at. So now we do say here on valid submit video insert, but it may actually be an update. So instead of using that um, name, let's just say video save, and then we'll decide what which we're going to do down here. So we need to change the name of this to um, video save. And then we'll decide what we want to do with it. We can say if that video if the video ID of the video being passed in is zero, then definitely do an insert. Get my curlies in there. And when you're done with, well, let's put those in there. 
and then go to video list. We don't need to go all the way back to the home page. Okay, so the video ID is zero, insert otherwise else. Um, do basically the same thing, but do an update, not an insert. So let me just grab this line here, change insert to update. And then we are going back to the video list page either way. So we'll take that navigation thing and stick it under the if. All right, let me just format that, make sure it looks okay. All right, and then just let me throw in some comments for future reference so that we know what we're looking at when we refer to this in the future. And certified is zero. Otherwise, if it's not zero, we're going to do an update. And what else here now? Oh, we're going to navigate back to video list. Even if they cancel, we're not going to go all the way back to the home page. There's no need for that. Okay, I think this page is done. All right, no guts, no glory. Let's build it. So far, so good. Let's run it. Thinking about it. And go to videos. Uh, yeah, there they are. If we click edit on one, I'll clear the checkbox. Click update. Oh, it's marked as deleted, so that worked. Let's try a different one. I'll change the date on this one. I'll just use these little spin buttons for the heck of it. Click update, and that worked. If I go back here and make this active and click update again, it's active again. If I click add a video, I get an empty thing. I click cancel, I come back. Click add a video again. Put in a video title and a date. And again, this is just messing around stuff, testing things out. And add, and there's the fourth video. So cool. It works. And really, we're done because you don't really need a, a physical delete thing in here if you've got that is active field to handle that logically. But since I did say it was a CRUD course, I guess I should uh, do the D part. So we'll get to that in the next lesson. All right. See you there.